Here we are on a Sunday morning. We're going to do a little review on the new Enos hammock. We're going to check it out here across these poles on this little sort of small pavilion. We're in an undisclosed area in the southwestern United States. And this is the gear we're going to check out today. Inside this little sack we have we call slap straps. The amount sorry for the there we go. Slap straps, they're made out of really strong nylon. We got these little adjustment hooks that we're going to adjust the width. The hammock. I sound like President Obama. I don't know if I can set this down while I open up this bag. Yeah, this might work. I just move yeah, this right here. Uh, just do it like that. That's fine. I'll just come on over on this side. This thing doesn't weigh very much. It weighs eight ounces. Straps weigh. Two straps together weigh more than this. They weigh 12 ounces. Okay. Uh, we got a homemade system that we came up with too. We're gonna hook these up later on on a regular blanket. A nine foot blanket. It doesn't stretch. But we made these things here. We're gonna tie this around the blanket like so. Have the hooks. I'll tie this one around the blanket. Have some hooks. And we're going to use paracord, which uh, are around here somewhere. Where's the paracord? The the long ones. They're on the poles, right? They're on the poles. Okay. They're gonna be right here. Some paracords that we made. We're gonna see. 550 paracord. We're going to use this as the adjustments on the height. We know it can handle the weight. We tested it yesterday on a tree. We hung off the tree with this thing. And the other one will be right there. Okay. We did a fisherman's knot right here to join the two ends so it'll be nice and strong okay we don't have the blanket yet so we're just going to use the Enos hammock on this guy right there right. and this here is the slap straps made by Enos Enos makes these too let me show you the system that they got here Okay, maybe a little out of focus, but you get the idea. And yeah. these are the hooks. Sewn in very, very good stitching. Both sides. How far do you think this is, Ephraim? <laughs> Between uh, those two poles? More than that? Let me see. Let me, let me step it out here. There's three. 6, 9, 12, 15, it's about almost 18 feet apart, it's quite, it's quite a ways. Alright, let's hook it up, open the bag there, by the way today my brother here is assisting me in the Check out of this hammock or oh, the tabletop review. Let's call it you tabletop. Put, uh, your drinks in there, cell phones, 
Yeah, that's the sack. And yeah, the, that's part of the, yeah, that, that little bag is part of the sack. You stuff the bag inside that sack. Okay. Don't, don't. This is how fast it is to do this. By the way, this is our first, uh, our first review on anything. <laughs> so we're rookies. We're rookies. But we're going to give it a shot. How do you know how high to put it, though? Well, you put your hand up between. I guess this doesn't matter, yeah, right? We can we can make it up and down by putting changing the hook. Let me let me see how close those straps come together already, as it is. Let me see. They almost they almost touch. Yeah. And they, well, how they they said that these straps are seven feet. Oh, this ain't focusing very good. It says here seven feet six inches. So we have two straps of seven feet six inches, and it's one inch thick. So that, that might, that might be too high. That's too high. That's the beauty of it. You just adjust it how you want. That's right. Oh, let's look at the carabine real quick. What kind of carabine they got on there? Uh, pretty good heavy duty carabine. Nice. Okay, that was obviously too high, so we're going to go down a little bit there. Down a little bit there. Yeah, but this one is so up there high, and this one's so down there low. We'll lower it or higher it. Oh, so you can adjust the length also by changing the height just by adjusting the strap. All right, you let's... got one high and you got one low. Okay, put them to both the same height for now. Not that high, because you don't touch the floor with your feet. So you no, get in it. Go down a bit? Oh, you want to you want to get in it easy. Yeah, the straps twisted up there. Get that get that strap so it's not twisted. All right, cool. All right, get in. How much you weigh? Two ten. Two ten. My brother is a little over six feet and he's two hundred and ten pounds. Okay. So it's just sitting on it right now. It works. Oh, this is a single, by the way. This is the the single, and they have a what is? Let me see it. Hang on. Yeah, single nested. They call it. They got a double nested hammock. Also, it can fit two people. Yeah, I think that's wide enough, don't you think? Yes. Because I have some wide shoulders. Yeah. yeah. My shoulders are extra wide. Yeah. My brother's a big boy. To so uh, find me a shirt, to hard. Yeah. And there's the, you low like that, there you go. There's a little bag we can, you can hang. <coughs> put your cell phone on this side. I think that because the bag is on this side, it looks, it doesn't look like it's in the middle. So I think this must be the side where you, you're, you're supposed to, your head's supposed to be up because you're actually higher up there than you are over there. By the way, we got a camp, we got a camping pillow that we're going to be using inside there too to, to rest your head and stuff. But for the most part, nice day today. We're at the park here. I don't see, there's a lot of cars over there, but there's nobody walking the track. We have a track here. Oh yeah, we do. We got a couple people down, way down there. Nice park. I come here on my days off and on weekends and I, I walk this track. Very nice. They got a little basketball court over there. Oh, and it looks like it's got a net on it too, so. I don't want to zoom in and out of the camera because it, it gets blurry. I don't like to be watching videos when you're zooming in and out and you're blurry, so I just, I hardly ever use the zoom on this. But my brother's going to fall asleep. He's been up this morning till 3 in the morning. Uh, it's a little after 8 o'clock this morning, so we just got a quick 5 hours sleep. Alright, 